Hello, Rebecca. How are you, Rebecca Seidler? She said, okay, can you talk about how we look up HOA dues and any fees outstanding? What sources do you use? Two. <laughs> One is, uh, well, there's, there's, well, there's kind of three. Okay, let me, there's a couple different ways. One of the ways I th of deed restrictions is I ask the seller. It's on my initial list. Hey, is there an HOA or a property association? Are you paying any monthly dues for this? Great. Okay, that's number one. Um, and I always kind of want to back it up with something else if I don't know the area. How would I back it up? I'm looking at the legal description. If it's in Sycamore Estates, all right. That's, this is a neighborhood now. This is a community. It's a, it's a, if it's Sycamore Estates lot number 45, that might, there's a small chance that there's an HOA or something there. So I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. And then what I usually do at that point, I'm Googling, I'm not kidding. I'm going to Google the, the stuff and try to find it. And, and, or often both, if I'm really, if I really think there might be something there, maybe there's a boat dock at the end of the street, you know, I'm looking at going, all right, there's a really good chance we're in an HOA. It's such and such a state, and it looks like I, I might have a community boat area, and I see a community pool, but could be a community pool, then I call a county, and they can and they can help me and point me in the right direction. So, excellent questions.